Number 9. Wedding Vacation There is actually a growing demand for mail-order brides. It's not really something new. The mail-order bride fetish can be traced back long before internet sites allows for such easy communication and purchases. It's not hard to understand why some women from third world countries would be enamored by a man, regardless of age or looks, from a first world country. Men from first world nations apparently signify opportunity and financial stability, which is just not possible in some of these places these women live. But don't get it twisted, there are horror stories of men being scammed by these seemingly innocent women or men taking advantage of the women's vulnerability and willingness to do whatever it takes to escape. Russia is known to be a popular destination for men to indulge their quest for love, a bride, or both. Our first story comes from a website called The Taco. The honeymoon is a major part of the marriage. You're together as a married couple for the first time, enjoying each other's company in a beautiful location. What could be nicer? And when the ceremony happens in Bali, then all the better, right? Wrong! In this particular case, a mail-order bride and her children soaked up the sun, only for her to skip on the whole till death do us part thing. Apparently, she was only in it for the vacation vibes. She was the one that suggested the exotic destination in the first place as a luxurious wedding venue. The guy got a heads up that something was amiss, but didn't heed the warning. They do say love is blind. This guy was apparently blinded and now has a significantly smaller bank account balance. Number 8. The Bad Broker There are sometimes three people in a mail-order marriage, the bride, the groom, and the broker. Here's the tale of a malicious middleman who left one couple devastated with his antics. An Jae-sung, a man in his 50s from Seoul, South Korea, hoped to find love through a marriage broker. This supposedly reputable individual requested a letter from Jae-sung outlining details such as his income and health record. Stuff that would potentially impress any interested ladies in other countries, such as Uzbekistan, where the broker told him his future wife lived. He was at least honest about that part. She was in Uzbekistan. Unfortunately, this younger woman wasn't who Jaesung thought she was, and he fell short of her expectations also. You see, the broker really had behaved badly, telling both bride and groom that they were getting hitched to people with money. Turns out the new couple were far from wealthy, the bride had been promised a new house, not by her husband, but by the broker, and the wife hadn't received the husband's letter describing his financial affairs. The quote, lovers, gave it a try for three months, but things soon fell apart. Alarmingly, the bride attempted suicide before it was decided she should return to Uzbekistan. The stress continued when Ajay Sung learned he'd become a long-distance father. Reportedly, he supports the child financially from Seoul, though naturally there's suspicion over whether the child is even his. Number 7. Dr. Leo Burson From the 21st century to the 19th for our next entry, yup, they had mail-order brides back then also. Sometimes even the best educated people can be taken for a ride. Back in 1886, one Dr. Leo Burson, who used his brain power at the Collegiate Institute in San Francisco, decided the time was right to settle down with a wife. So he did what many men must have done in this situation. He wrote and asked for one. His letter arrived at San Francisco's Matrimonial Bureau. Not the most romantic of names, but marriage can be a business as much as a loving relationship, right? What happened next? Well, it wasn't good. On her website, romance author Kristen Holt highlighted a newspaper excerpt from the Los Angeles Herald where the sad details are revealed. The Bureau came back to Dr. Burson with a potential match named Kate Grant. All appeared to be good. The doctor traveled to meet Miss Grant and reportedly lavished her with attention, and indeed money, having splashed out a then enormous sum of $1,500 on stuff like dresses and trips out, he looked forward to the big day. It was then that Kate ran for the hills. She apparently had a habit of drawing unsuspecting males into her web and was far from single and ready to mingle. Dr. Burson was left in a seriously sticky situation. Diagnosis? No! Number 6. Bride on Expenses Getting married is famously an expensive business. One man found a, shall we say, interesting way to cover the costs? The taco revealed how one groom got on the grumpy side after being let go by his employers. How come? They accused him of paying for his mail-order bride using company money. Not so, said the employee. 
I'm using a personal account. However, because the account had a stipend for business expenses paid monthly, the argument ran that he treated his new and much younger wife as a professional expense. The ratty Romeo then sued his ex-bosses for a suspect sacking offense. The case is on the ambiguous side, with even the person telling the anecdote unsure regarding the exact details of how the case turned out. Still makes for an interesting story, right? Apparently, the, quote, lucky lady didn't speak English, meaning a translator had to be brought in so husband and wife could communicate with one another. It doesn't sound like the perfect recipe for love, but who knows? Maybe they went on to have a happy life together. Plus, it makes for a memorable, if awkward, story to tell any kids they might have. So far, this list has been all about bad behavior, or people getting into hot water over mail order brides. There is, of course, a dark side to these overseas entanglements. Our next entry is not for the faint-hearted. But before we continue, I want to say thanks for checking out the channel. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. The Crate Murder Plot The website Dream Marriage promises the union of a lifetime with young and beautiful women. And while it looks like a classic example of too good to be true, the last thing you'd associate it with is cold-blooded murder. However, that's the territory it went into when middle-aged Texan David Sarton saw Ukrainian beauty Elena Barakinia online. He visited Ukraine no less than six times to be with someone he thought was going to be his forever love. Barakina, on the other hand, had different ideas. Sartan was spending money on things like her music career. Meanwhile, she had a boyfriend and was happily sleeping with him while Sartan remained blissfully unaware. She'd been holding off on taking him to bed till the big day. After paying off thousands of dollars, Barakina convinced Sartan to tell him the relationship was off. He, of course, was heartbroken and beyond angry, but he also plotted a calculated and deadly revenge. He paid for two shadowy criminal types to snatch Barakina, put her in a crate, yes, you heard that right, a crate, and send her to Texas. There, he would collect her and take her to a special room on his property. Sartan planned what sounds like a slow and painful demise for his former beloved. At the end of the ordeal, he would reportedly poison her with lead. There was even talk he'd go after the boyfriend, too. Thankfully, Sartan didn't get to carry out his deranged scheme. He was communicating with the feds rather than the ruthless heavies he thought would carry out his terrible fantasy. After being arrested, Sartan was sentenced to 10 years behind bars in 2012. Sartan is described in reports as a lonely person and the kind of guy we link to these sorts of things, maybe. Maybe, though, it isn't easy to tell what's going on in someone's mind. The most reputable folk harbor dark secrets, as our next entry demonstrates. Number 4. Demon Doctor In 2000, Oksana Marakova, a young single mother from the Ukraine, met a middle-aged man who she refers to as Carl. He was from Florida and in the country looking for a bride. Oksana was reportedly impressed with Carl, but once she agreed to marry him and go to America, things went downhill pretty quickly. Not only did he appear to want her to become an obedient wife and baby-making machine, but he was abusive to her son. He even dyed the kid's hair a different color to try and change his identity. Oksana pushed back against his tyranny, but at the end of the day, she was in a difficult situation. It all came to a head when Carl mistreated her son after he became lost at Walmart. Carl's cruelty was laid bare in public. Oksana then spoke to a social worker, and from that point, the mail-order bride escaped her fate and found freedom. She's now in a reportedly happy and stable relationship. This love story had more downs than ups, but eventually Oksana found happiness with someone else. Who knows where things may have led had she stayed with Carl. Yet sometimes the bride is the one doing bad things, and some of those things can be very bad indeed, as our next entry shows. Number 3. Ayo the Murderess The chilling tale of Ayu, the mail-order bride from Vietnam, is enough to put anyone off to try and arrange a marriage this way. Not that it's the most reputable thing to do in the first place, but even so, this is a real horror story. The 21-year-old, whose real name isn't known, was brought into the South China home of Lei Binghao. He'd bought her for approximately $4,000. Reportedly, helping him with the purchase was, er, his dad, Lei Shi Hu. Anyhow, Au, as she was called, moved in with Lei Binghao and became pregnant with his twins. Was this the beginning of a happy family life together? No, it most certainly wasn't. 
Also living in the house was A Yu's mother-in-law. The story takes a dark turn when Lei Shei Hu walks in to find both his wife and son dead from strangulation. A Yu and the babies were missing. Who knows what was going on through the poor man's mind? Thankfully, they found A Yu and the infants within 24 hours. The news wasn't good, however. The babies had been offered up for sale at the price of nearly 1,000 pounds apiece. Police suspected that AU conspired to murder her husband and mother-in-law, with three men reportedly involved in the killing. She's then alleged to have cold-bloodedly offloaded her offspring. The whole nasty business was stopped, but not before two people tragically lost their lives. Be careful what you wish for, or in some cases, be careful what you eat. What do we mean? All will be explained in our next story. Number 2. Shattered Illusions Back to the taco for a food-related entry or rather something totally hard to swallow, and we're not talking about a bad relationship, even though it was a bitter pill. According to the anecdote, a less than perfect husband got his just desserts, care of a mail order bride who came from Lithuania. She clearly wasn't going to take his alleged bad treatment lying down, so for a couple of years she served up an extra ingredient at mealtimes, ground glass. Yes, by the time he twigged, it was too late and he wound up in hospital. His wife, on the other hand, had fled the marital home, we're guessing the idea was to send the guy to his grave. Ultimately, that didn't happen, though he was very lucky, and we reckon he may have treated any future relationship with a little more consideration from that point. Number 1. Colombian Switcheroo We've had a fair amount of misery and suffering on this rundown, so how about something a little on the lighter side? One of the taco's most memorable revelations concerns a crafty older man who was way out of line when picking a mail-order bride. We heard of a problem customer, but this individual really pushed his luck. Having settled on a life partner, he then proceeded to change his mind and get hitched to the woman's daughter. We're not saying this was a comedic situation or anything. It must have been truly heartbreaking for the bride to find out she'd been jilted in such a ruthless fashion. Traded in before her relationship even got started, and with her offspring to boot, pretty incredible stuff, right? On top of that, the groom was approaching retirement age, so he was really looking to go out with a bang. The setting for this tale of woe is Columbia, with the love rat traveling in from New Hampshire to meet his intended. We know what you're probably thinking, how could he do this to his future bride? Shouldn't he have gotten his comeuppance? Well, it appears he did. Not at the hands of the lady he dumped, but the one he took up with. The younger model went up in the world, bagging herself an accounting qualification and eventually giving hubby the heave-ho. So having bet the farm on one chance at love, he wound up with a handful of nothing. Did he go on to find love with someone else? Frankly, who cares? Did the mother and daughter patch things up? Now that's a more interesting question, though one to which we don't have the answer, unfortunately. It's hard to make a judgment call on mail-order brides. Whether they're badly arranged or run by ruthless people, they are the guaranteed nightmare for seekers of love and adventure. On the other hand, there is no shortage of people who've found happiness this way. What do we make of it all? We'll let you think about what you've watched and let you draw your own conclusions. Thanks for watching. Are there any mail order bride disasters you think we left off this list? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the Board Badger.